Hi everybody, and welcome to my art journal page about Flint Castle, which is a castle uh, local to me, where I went and did some sketches and took some photos. And here are some of the prints from the photos that I took, and I'm going to use these as a collage for the background of my art journal page. It's quite a nice way to collect texture and um, use texture for collage effects. So here I'm just going to use matte medium to stick it down on the page. And Flint Castle basically was um, built by Edward I um, as the first in his ring of fi iron ring of castles while he was trying to conquer Wales. Um, and he imported worksmen and craftspeople from all over England to live in the new town of Flint. And he brought the workers in by force um, to live in the, the new town of Flint. Um, but the Welsh were actually kept out of the town. So it's a bit of a checkered past. But nowadays, Flint Castle is a really lovely tourist destination where you can um, view birds and have a nice walk and take your dog. So, yeah, it's a nice place to explore in an art journal page. I'm just using a uh, clear gesso to um, seal the surface so that when I put the inks on in a minute um, they won't go get soaked up by the papers. And here's my little sketchbook that I took with me to Flint Castle and some of the sketches that I did. And that's one of the castle um, which I'm going to use. I'm going to cut out a mask out of this paper, and here it is. And I'm just going to spray around that mask to create the outline of my page. Um, I do lift this mask up at this point, but I should have left it down really, so that the one I do the ink in next would have protected the, um, the castle area. So here's my Bombay inks, and I'm just sprinkling them around, spritzing with water and then applying cream film over the top to create a nice textural effect. Here we are, the power of baby wipes. I'm just doing the tree line at the top and then I'll repeat again for the sky and um, then I just leave the cling film on to dry and when it's dry peel it off and you'll be able to see. Just smooching it about and there it is dry and you can see the nice um, textures it leaves behind. I'm just adding blue for the sky and then I'm going to mix that with a paintbrush. And um, I decided that the brown was just um, too prominent, so I'm taking a Neo Color crayon here, and I'm just squiggling it about on top of the texture to just knock that brown back a little bit more. And plus, it's really enjoyable to do. <laughs> So next I'll add some detail into the castle so that you can see the form of it, um, just using the Neo Color crayons. And you can apply these dry or wet, so I'm applying them dry here to create marks on the page and then I shall wet 
some of the bits at the top where the stone was um, discoloured at the top of the castle. So you can add in any details that actually appeal to you when you visit a place. Um, when you do it in your art journal spread, you don't have to be completely faithful to um, what it looks like, but just add in the details that stood out to you. So here I'm wetting the new acrylics just to blend them out a little bit and drip them down. And now that's all dried and I've um, cut out some daisies and some seagulls with my silhouette. Um, I print and cut some smaller daisies and some larger ones. <coughs> the same with the seagulls. Uh, just to remind me of the seaside location of Flint Castle. Um, it was built there because it was um, good access to trade by sea. So I think the seagulls are pretty relevant. And I'm just using um, a heavy mat, a heavy gloss medium to stick these down on your page. You don't need a heavy one, it's just what I had. I think because it's card, I'm not sure I trust the um, liquid matte medium, which is a lot thinner. And thanks very much for watching.